guys, welcome back. Bushcraft family here again. Yes. And today we are going to be planting something uh, a bit different. And let me show you what we are going to be planting. This is Roselle's hibiscus. It's probably pronounced somewhere different, but that, that, that's, that's how I'm going with it. As you can see here, uh, let me see if I can bring this up a little bit better for you. Um, I, I wanted to start with four of them. And as you can see, we have some sprouts. And from my research and everything, this is the best way to get these to grow. And this is not an easy plant to grow, let me tell you. Um, I've, I've failed at this a couple times. And I've done a lot of research because this plant this flower is a very good flower <laughs> okay it, it has um first of all there's so so much nutrition and everything in into uh this plant uh the flower what you do you 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 use this in a tea you can you can use it by itself or whatever but it lowers blood pressure. Um, uh, it's anti something other. I forget what it's called. Uh, antibacterial. That's what it was. Uh, it's it reduces cholesterol. Uh, improves liver health. Uh, cancer prevention. I mean, the list goes on with this thing. Um, it's a. And like I said, I, I've been tr trying to grow this. I've been buying this stuff online ju just for making my teas and stuff. And it's one of the ingredients of a tea that I made for a certain sickness that's going around right now. Um, which um, really helped me get past it really fast. Um, I know there there's other things in it, but like I said, this stuff is... Uh, I mean, it, it's awesome. It, it's good. It's good to prevent uh, prostate cancer, mouth cancer, uh, stomach count, cancer, cancer. It go list go like I said, the list goes on. Um, it pr even promotes weight loss. Um, it's good for um, reduce the body uh, body fat and, and and stuff like that. But we're gonna get on to the planting of this. Okay, like I said, um, it's not one of the easiest plants to grow. Usually you get it in a um, a bush type thing, and those are hard to keep going. But we're going to try this. It's from Haas Tools. Um, so they haven't done me wrong so far. And if you look on the back of it, they don't give you too much information on here because there isn't much. Um, uh, plant after the last frost, pl planting uh, a fourth fourth of an inch. Uh, spacing is 24 inches. Rows four to five feet. Um, days to maturity is 90. And it also says right there that it is a 74% germer germination rate which I would say yes that is true because we have three out of the four that has sprouted so we're gonna just gonna do three for today and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this I've got my dirt down here my potting soil if I can get it in there Get all the little extra chunks out of there. Okay, as you can see here, we got our potting soil. We're going to put it a fourth of an inch. And as you can see by the seed, be very careful, the sprout right there. You see it sprouting up. I want to make sure that I got that sprout sticking up right there. That way it doesn't have a hard time to, to move itself out of there. There we go. And I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and, and sit this in with my um, my peppers and stuff so that it has it'll be on the heating pad and we'll see how that goes um, now I'm going to go ahead and do the other two here and this mixture of soil it does have um, um, it does have some uh, coconut husk in there that helped helps quite a bit. I, I I love putting a little bit of husk in with my my starters and my potting soil because it, it does wonders. If you if you can find it in your local area. Uh, which suggests getting it because it, it does pr promote, uh, it absorbs water so that you don't have to water as much. And there we have our third one. Let's get that little vine out of there. And there we go. Now I'm not going to worry about that one because um, now usually I, I, I put put my, um, my seeds that I'm going to try I'll put them in the water for at least three days until they sprout. Um, this has taken three days um, to sprout. So uh, sometimes you might get lucky and it might only take one to two days. But this, uh, all three of them has, has taken three days. Now, like I said, I'll put these under or on top of uh, a heating pad. And as soon as they start... Um, breaking the soil and stuff and I'll, I'll go ahead and give you an update on it for the, the second part of this video but for right now that is all we're going to do on this video I hope it, it's been informative uh, because it, th this is an important flower for me because I like to try to grow some herbs and, and flowers and things that are good for the health and kind of like a, a little remedy in case uh we don't have our prescriptions anymore or things like that. It's, it's, it's good to have a backup plan. And this is my backup plan to control my high blood pressure. So there you have it. Until next time, guys, God bless.